live, where news comes first. This is ABC7 with breaking news. We are following breaking news at this hour. Sinaloa cartel leader Ismael El Mayo Zambada made his first court hearing at the El Paso Federal Court today, just the day after he was arrested here in El Paso. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for ABC7 at noon on air and live on KVI.com. I'm Michael Currier. And I'm Isabella Martinez. Good afternoon, everyone. New at noon, these are the first photos we're seeing of El Mayo Zambada, who's 76, and Joaquin Guzman Lopez, the son of Joaquin El Chapo Guzman. Now, this is the first time that we have seen the both of them since their arrest by the U.S. government. The Mexican government released the photos this morning, and both are the co-founders of the Sinaloa cartel. ABC 7's Adiberto Perez is following this story and joins us live now this afternoon to tell us what comes next. Good afternoon, Adiberto. Good afternoon, Michael. Isabella, we're here outside of the U.S. District Court of Western Texas, where at 8 a.m. this morning, Ismael El Mayo Zambada showed up for his first court appearance, and he pleaded not guilty. Not guilty, Michael. Isabella, according to multiple national news outlets, both Zambada and Guzman Lopez were lured to the U.S., believing that they will be looking at a property to purchase in Mexico near the border. And at least one of the uh, one of the men did not know where the plane was headed here to the U.S. Both were arrested. At at the Doña Ana County Jet Port in Santa Teresa yesterday afternoon, and the Department of Justice says El Mayo Zambada was then officially arrested here in El Paso. The FBI and DEA conducted the arrest. Both faces both face charges related to drug trafficking and manufacturing, including fentanyl. Attorney General Merrick Garland also gave his reaction after both arrests. Last year, I said that the Justice Department would never stop working to hold accountable those who are responsible for the fentanyl epidemic. On Thursday, the Justice Department took into custody in El Paso two more alleged leaders of the Sinaloa cartel. And Michael, Isabel, according to, uh, according to court, uh, court documents, El Mayo Zambada has his next hearing set up for Wednesday, July 31st at 11 a.m. But they also said that, uh, or the documents state that he waived his appearance, so he may not show up here. I'm reporting live from downtown El Paso, Heriberto Perez, ABC7. Thank you very much, Heriberto.